One of the enduring treasures in Prescott is Charlotte Hall Museum, and it's celebrating a big anniversary. We're going to talk about all kinds of things coming up for it this coming year as well. Ken Leo, wonderful to have you on with us today. Glad to be here. Thank you again. I tell you, when I came to Prescott, uh, you know, a few decades ago, I have to say Charlotte Hall Museum was one of the first places I found out about. So it's been around for a long time, and uh, actually, we're going to talk about that because it's it's an amazing. Uh, Anyway, I can't think of the term they call for that right now. But anyway, <laughs> it's you've got a railroad exhibit that's up right now because you have exhibits. This The whole campus is an exhibit, if you will, of the history of Prescott. But this is a very special one about the railroads. Yes, it because it's an area that we used to have a lot of in the, in the railroad business was a major factor here in the growth of Prescott. But now it's gone. It left us back in the uh, 1900s. Wow. And... So we, it's now part of our history and part of our tradition. So our exhibit, the railroad uh, meeting the four o'clock train of Prescott uh, is going to be still with us until the early part of January and then it leaves. Uh, and it, 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 the centerpiece of course is still that HO scale model railroad of downtown Prescott. And it's just so exciting. The kids that come by and push the button to see the train go around the tracks <laughs> and cross over the Gurley Street, uh, you know, oh, the, the Granite Creek Bridge yeah. and the, the Roundhouse. It's just an amazing exhibit. Well, I tell you, I, we just can't miss that. And again, it goes until January it, what? It goes about until the 15th of January, and then we take it down uh, because we're going to be replacing that exhibit. Hopefully in the first quarter, we're looking to be the early part of February, maybe middle of February. Wow, well, don't miss it because it's great and something else wonderful will be coming up. But I was just surprised to actually realize that Charlotte Hall Museum has been in the Prescott for 90 years. 90 years. We Amazing. celebrate our 90th anniversary uh, in June of 2018. And, you know, when you think back into what was happening in 1917, 1918, we had just become a state and Charlotte Hall, the woman, uh, was deciding that we needed to preserve our history and so she established the Charlotte Hall Museum or at the time it was called the Governor's Mansion Museum because that was it just the Governor's that was, Mansion. That was what was on the campus that was right it. then and a road went right That's in right. front of it you as know, well. And, and I, I don't remember what the name <laughs> of the street was but there was a street right in front and there was the picket fences going all the yeah. way around it. We have uh, historic photographs of it back then and it's a, it's a quaint Amazing. little thing. Now it's grown from that little building, and it really wasn't a little building. Uh, At the time, now, it was quite the mansion. Oh, it literally. was quite the mansion. Now it's a four-acre campus. We have 11 exhibit buildings and a, uh, a lot of things to see. And you're celebrating this big anniversary. I've I was trying to find, think of the name for a 90-year-old, and I was having I've, trouble. I've heard ninosgentarians <laughs> and uh, octogentarian, and I know about it. But, uh, <laughs> That's and, right. And we haven't gotten to the centenary yet, but uh, right. uh, we're working on it. But you're going to have a big parties up there. Yes, we plan on having a lot of different extravagant uh, events, plus... Uh, we're, we're looking to try and find all the 90-year-olds out there and have them come down for a Clever. special day at the museum for the for that. Uh, we do have day. a few. I mean, I've had 103-year-old yes. people on my show. It's like, wow, we're, we're just yes. you know living well and living long, and the museum is certainly living yes. well and living long. You put things on all year. Now, you had a wonderful Christmas season, of course, with Frontier Christmas, yes. and it's a, a favorite place for people to go during this holiday that's a, just, you know, but now we're looking towards New Year's and kicking off a whole new year. Kicking off a new year, the 90th year, we're still going to have some of the festivals and events that we've been having all these years. We're going to have the Folk Arts Fair in June. We will be having the... Uh, uh, Prescott Indian Art Market now in its 21st year, and that'll be in July, the second weekend wow, of July. 21. It's a 21. legal age. It's now of legal age, <laughs> and it's been doing a tremendous job. Yeah. Uh, in October, we will have again our folk music festival, and that's going to be our 45th year. Oh, wow. Uh, so it, we're celebrating a lot of special anniversaries throughout the year, uh, starting off, of course, with that 
very first one, which was the, the day that somebody came in and signed that very first registry, and we'll have that on display. Oh, really? The registry that Charlotte Hall had set out for people to sign when they came into the museum, oh. the Mansion Museum, as she referred to it. So Mansion. it'll be an exciting opportunity. Well, what a wonderful thing, because it just goes on, and I mean, it's... It, Charlotte Hall Museum is a repository of our Prescott history. It was exactly what Charlotte Hall intended. It's continued going. So everything you have has something to do with the history of our area. Yes, it does. And in fact, when we finish the railroad exhibit, we'll be moving right into an exhibit that's just going to be spectacular. And it talks about what happened 100 years ago. Think about it, 1917, 1918, what was and the going start, on? We were in the middle of a great war, and you're going to have the opportunity to be in the trenches of World War I and discover how did Arizona, a brand new state, remember we'd only been a state since 1912, so in 1918, what was it like to have to go through the rationing and driving down our roads, which were pretty pretty much dirt roads <laughs> yes. without rubber tires, uh, having to go through meatless Tuesdays and meatless Fridays and the rationing and baconless breakfasts and all of the other things that Arizona, in its effort to be part of the union uh, and support our, our military that we're going over there yeah. to the Great War. So it's oh. going to be a great exhibit. Oh, it sounds wonderful. Well, and of course, Charlotte was such, uh, she was the cause why we have this. And you have a special award for women that, that you also do at Charlotte yes. Hall Museum. Yes, we have the Charlotte Hall Award, and it recognizes those women that have made a significant contribution to preserving our Arizona history. And that happens every single year, and the presentation is made at the Western History Symposium, which will be the first Saturday of August. So we've got something going on every month I tell at you, Charlotte don't, Hall you Museum. I tell you, you cannot be bored here when you, <laughs> when you go to Charlotte Hall Museum. Besides all the standing exhibits you have, like the Transportation House and, you know, the, yes. the House of a Thousand Hands or whatever Charlotte yes. called it, where you have standing exhibits all the time. Wonderful many, things. many standing exhibits. We mm -hmm. uh, recently opened up our Prescott Culture Exhibit, which it really brings the full circle from the Ice Age all the way to the Prescott people. We're hoping to expand our our exhibit areas to go all the way from approximately 1300 to the current time, uh, and that's the reason why we're still working towards building our new education center. Fabulous. So the, again, well, there's well, always something going something, on at Charlotte Hall Museum. Well, and this brand new year is going to be 90 years, so 90 happy years. new year to Charlotte Hall Museum, and we're glad you're in the community. And happy new year to you too. <laughs> Thank you, Ken Lane. All right, don't go away. When we come back, we'll have Sandy and friends again.